All right, everyone. Welcome back to Tall Tales Custom Tackles. Um, I'm gonna make a little video here. I'm gonna be going on vacation in a, in a couple of days. Uh, let's see, today's Saturday. Um, I'll be leaving out bright and early Monday morning, going on vacation, so I won't be back for you know like a week. So I figured I'd go ahead and try to get a video in because I know it's been. It's probably been a week since my last one, so I figured I'd go ahead and try to get one in before uh, before I, you know, head out on on this little vacation. And I was actually sitting here trying to think what to do. You know, uh, yeah, I could try to build some, you know, like make some colors and you know shoot a couple of molds I hadn't done in a while. Uh, stuff like that but the more I was thinking about it, I was like well I got you know if you make baits for yourself you end up with so many you know I got my little tackle room is just I got bags just filled up with baits that I make and sometimes I'll auction them off and get rid of a lot of them but you still I'll, I'll still end up with a lot of them um, so anyway Long story short, sitting here thinking I'm gonna I'm gonna just make a um, you know do a crankbait. Um, I don't think I've showed a wood crankbait on here yet. Um, I used to do you know wood baits a long time ago. I mean, uh, duh, 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 duh. I started doing wood crankbaits about uh, 2013 somewhere in there. And I've done that for a couple of years, and it's just the market. Uh, yeah, you can sell them, but you know you got you got people that uh, I, I hate to use the term cheap, but you know you got people that want to you know throw up. Oh, I can get this from eBay for five dollars. Well, go right ahead. I mean, it takes a lot of time to you know by the time you cut out the wood sand seal the whole nine yards you know it takes it takes a little while so um it, it really just in the long run wasn't worth it yeah i enjoyed it um uh, but it just in the long run wasn't worth it but anyway um uh, i had a few blanks already cut out but i'm going to use a different piece of wood uh and i'll show you what i got right here you know i had some already cut out uh, actually I had quite a few of them because I've made some of these for myself um, I honestly just make them I don't know why I made so many but I made a couple for myself and I liked how they uh, turned out so anyway I I'm bad about making too many blanks and that way or let me rephrase that make a lot of extra blanks that way in case I you know want to uh, remake it or something you know I got yeah, I got some extra. Um, let's go right here. Open this up. You know, all this is is blanks. You know, I got some scrap wood just laying here, but you know, I got flat side blanks. I got some mixed blanks. Like that right there is full of frogs. I used to make a uh, wood frog baits and stick baits. These are already some that's already primed and ready to go like i say i've i've been out of it for, for years and then also some old cedar um i started to use cedar just then but um anyway i decided against it what i went with let me try to get you around what i end up going with is i honestly don't even know the proper term of this wood it's you can find it in the uh like the project section um in like lows and you can see right here where they glue it together um you know i had some scrap pieces of this left and um it's a decent wood the only thing about it you gotta watch out these grains like that when you're using a razor knife uh your blade i try to follow those grains so you got to be real careful but um i'm gonna do it off camera what i'm gonna do is step out to my other shop and cut this out and once I get this cut out, um, well, I, I need to cut out one of these too. This is the uh, the lip 
I'm going to use one of those lips. But anyway, um, I'm going to step off camera, go to the other building, cut this out, and then I'll come back and start doing a... Um, I'll probably put it on the... Um, hell, whatever they call that mode. The uh, slow motion mode. I can't remember what they call it on, on here. But anyway, um, that way it won't take all day because it takes a while to make one of these and you know we'll just we'll do it that way that way you can still see what's going on it'll just be fast forward you know real fast but uh anyway we'll be right back all right we got our shape cut out uh, from here what i'm gonna do is just mark it um And I ain't gonna get all, you know, crazy technical with it. It's just for myself, so I ain't gotta be 100% perfect with it. Uh, basically, all I'm gonna try to figure out is, you know, how wide I want the nose and how narrow I want the, you know, the tail end. Um, once I get this done, like I say, I'm gonna, I'm gonna try to do a lot of this off camera and just show you you know um hit the highlight points but uh anyway right here that looks good i'm just like i say i'm just eyeballing it that's about the right distance so what i'm going to actually do is right about here i'm just going to make a mark like i say this is all just rough and go from there to there and from there to about there I want the middle of the body to stay about close to that width and just go I say I'm just giving you an idea because I'm gonna do the rest of this off camera so it's not uh because actually what I'm gonna do instead of wasting a lot of time um with the razor knife trying to do that now I'm still gonna I'm gonna smooth these edges down with a razor knife but as far as getting that main shape i'm gonna take it back out and put it on the grinding wheel real quick or my sanding wheel and just skim that on down I try to do as much of this like i say the easy way um back in my old day i would actually take you know a knife like this and pretty much do 90 percent of all the carving out with a handheld knife and i still do a little bit of it uh when it comes to the edges and all um but as far as the main shape and the profile I'll, I'll finish that up with a uh with a sander but anyway i just wanted to do that you know uh tell you about that real quick that way i don't just come back and show you and it's already finished and you you're trying to figure out what I did um, but anyway this won't take but just a second and we'll be we we'll back um, the reason I'm gonna keep on pausing and all like I say is if I showed you the full process of this really and try to go really in depth it would uh it would take a couple of hours uh, and I'm honestly not trying to spend that much time on it uh, that's why we're gonna hit I'm gonna um, try to speed through this, and now once we once we start on the actual paint job, I'll I'll probably uh, slow down a little bit and try to put a you know I won't put a masterpiece on it, but I'll I'll put something on it that uh that looks good for the uh for what I'm gonna use it for. All right. All right. From here, what I'm gonna do before I before I round these edges out, cause this is gonna be a little joining swimmer style bait i want to go ahead and just start i'm not going to cut it all the way but i do want to go ahead and start this cut that way you know i already have that lined up because once i cut uh start rounding these edges it'll be hard to get that you know perfect and this right here to start with is tricky uh if i was doing this all the time again you know i would uh i'd make me a little jig you know that would that would hold it in place 
All I'm trying to do to start with is just just make a little groove on that corner and this corner before I actually Alright. And when you're doing stuff like this, uh if you ain't got a jig or anything, you're just doing it by eye. Um honestly Especially if it's for yourself. I mean, if it's for a customer, I, I recommend building you a little jig to get it perfect. But for doing it like this, uh, if you're a little bit off, you can manipulate it. I mean, it's wood. You can sand down one side or the other a little bit more to make it match up better. But until you get it really started, I, I wouldn't suggest trying to go fast. Just slowly. And if you want to critique me, that's fine. But this ain't something I do every day. Uh, you know, there's a lot better people on uh, on YouTube to watch that does this right here. Uh, Marlon Bates is a, a good one. He, uh, you know, this is what he does all the time. Uh, you know, when you get out of it for a while, you ain't, uh, you gotta try to look or, you know, hunt down stuff. You know, I'm, even right now, I'm having to try to look around and find stuff because I, you know, I hadn't did, uh, stuff like this in a while, uh, for myself. So, and I just wanted to throw something a little bit different on the channel. I mean, I say and it's been a while since I made one uh, one of these anyway I started to do something simple for uh, for this video I, I probably should have but I, I decided to just do one of these This is a, uh, a bait that honestly, it's made after and resembles um, the old Strike King, um, Baby baby King Shad, I think is what they call it. Uh, which I don't know why they discontinued that bait. Um, It was a, and we're done with this. It was a uh, a great bait in my opinion. Uh, I have one of the old originals, and uh, you know it's just people, and you can understand because it's technically it's rare. But I mean, there's no way I'm gonna pay forty dollars for one. Sometimes you can find one for twenty five. Uh, I paid almost thirty for the one I have. Uh, anyway, if you can see, we got right close to it, and what we're going to be able to do from here is just round these edges a little bit. And all I'm going to do with that, like I say, I'm just going to use this knife, or you know, I might even use this one. This is an old one I made years ago. Uh, it works really good, but I'm going to round these edges, use a little bit. Of sandpaper and uh get them smoothed out and and go from there Alright, trying to decide, you can see I got a little mark there, there, and 
I put a mark right there first, but I think I'm gonna try to go as close to there. But anyway, um, usually what I like to do is go ahead and seal the uh, blank. Um, you know, put the weight of the hardware on it and you know, do a water test with it with a little bit of weight on it to see how much I'm gonna need to get it to balance out right. Uh, I'm just gonna wing it. I'm gonna drill right about here and just add a little bit of weight, you know, till I get what I see fit. Uh, usually I use a Usually I use my drill press, but I'm just going to use a handheld drill and eyeball it. So, alright, let's see if I can do this on camera without making a dang mess. Alright, let me see here. Da, 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 da. Make a dot. Uh, right there is where I think I'm gonna go I'll say this is usually so much easier with a uh, with a a drill press make sure I'm lined up I'm off by a little bit but see if we can right, let's see here that's probably enough Go a little bit more. Yeah. This. Sweep that up later. Alright. Yeah. And we're not going to fill that hole all the way up. We're, I mean, there ain't no need. We'll see how much we end up with let's see and also instead of using the uh the lead melting pot we're just gonna go kind of old school with it ideas about that <laughs> Now that's a little full. Uh, you know what? I'm gonna try to pour a little bit of that out if I can. Well, I let it. I let it harden up. That's fine. It's sticking up just a little bit. We can. We can sand that down. That's a little bit more than I want. I should have. I should have poured a little bit of that off. But like I said, we can. We can sand that down. Let that sit for a few minutes and let it cool off a little bit. Then we will sand it down a little bit. And then from there we will do a, uh, I'll probably go ahead and drill the whole line up, make sure the uh, bill fits good before we split it. And get it all sealed up and all. All right, we'll be back in a minute. Uh, give you a, give you a quick update where we're at. I did go ahead and drill um, a couple of eye socket holes. Um, I went ahead and filled that in. 
in case you're wondering with what bacon soda a little drop of super glue and always use a accelerator to uh you know dry it real quick where it's workable i sand it down where it's smooth um from here i'm gonna go ahead and drill the um move that i'm gonna go ahead and drill the um the holes uh once i get the holes drilled hardware fitted um i'll probably go ahead and finish and seal the entire bait um let me show you real quick what i'm gonna make the hardware out of let's see what size i want to use no. Right, I'm gonna use this right here um, this size zero uh, point zero thirty two is is big enough uh, sometimes I'll step up and use the 40 um, it's a little bit bigger you know sometimes I'll step up and use it but in this situation there there's really no need uh, honestly there's absolutely no need to uh to go that big anyway just give you a quick idea how you make the hardware and if you followed other people's channel or anything like that you've done seen this technique used uh, multiple times I'll, I'll just show you how I do it real quick. I bend them over. And you ain't got to. I do this for one reason. Uh, I bend the ends over like that. You get less slippage. So when you put in the drill, you get less slippage. And I'm going to show you with just one of them. And from there, try to get where you can see what I'm doing. I got this little thing here, small, medium, and larger size. Uh, for this right here, all I need is the small one. Run it where it's tight, and there's one eye. Um, only gonna make a couple of those. Well, I guess I can go ahead and show you both of them. Um, I'm going to do another one, but the other one I'm going to do, I'm going to use a, a different technique. It'll be for the actual joints. Well, that thunder is getting loud out there. I'll show you with one and then the other one I'm gonna because there's with this right here there's honestly no reason to show you both of them just because it's too time consuming um, and you know I'm trying to make this video an hour or less uh, I don't know if we're gonna make that that goal or not we will see From there i'll show you what we're gonna do this is the uh now i'll need two of these i'm only going like i say i'm only going to show one on camera and it's probably useless or uh, pointless to even show them because i'm pretty sure if you've watched much youtube and you've seen other uh bait makers make crank baits you've seen this technique used before it's been used for a long time uh sometimes i'll just use your standard hardware but in this case I'm going to do it this way all right put it over it and there you go and that's going to be what we're going to use for the joint um like I said I'm going to make two of them and um then I'll drill out the hardware and we'll come back. 
All right, we got the holes drilled. We got the hardware. All right. So what I'm gonna do right now is basically just I'm gonna go ahead and put this one in and this one in. And the, you know, got these cut off short. I say short, they're about uh, three quarters, you know, roughly. And that's, that's plenty. I'm just putting a little bit of super glue down it. Uh, and from here, what I'm actually gonna do is, uh, and I'm not gonna show the whole thing on, on camera because I don't want to take in forever. Um, I'll do it with this one. I'm gonna go ahead and take uh, I'm gonna go ahead and take some super glue, and I'm gonna seal it. And the way I do it is, I just take and run some super glue over it. Take one of these cheap little brushes. You can get them in Walmart anywhere. Uh, they're only a couple of dollars for uh, about 30 or so. I mean, they're very cheap. And I just used a brush just to help, you know, guide over. Because it don't take it but a second to soak it up. And that brush just basically saves your fingers from getting all sticky. And I mean, you see others, they, they use your fingers and stuff like that. I don't. Uh, each is their own if, if you want to use it Go right ahead use your fingers. Um, I have used my fingers, but I Just soon do it like this these brushes are very very cheap And like I say, I'm only gonna show you on this first one and uh, This first half and then I'll finish it up off off camera and we'll come back for the next step all right, now I'll hang this up, let it dry, and we'll be back. All right, I'll show you where we're at. I went ahead and glued the, I got it taped off. I went ahead and glued the, um, the, the lip in, the bill. Um, this right here, I just got a piece of wire stuck in, you know, just to hold it in place while I'm painting. Um, far as that is sealed and ready to go uh, I'm gonna prime it and then I'm gonna start painting um, honestly from this point I'm probably just gonna go ahead and put it on uh, uh, damn it what's that mode called um, I forgot anyway to slow it down uh, there's a word for it but time lapse that's what i'm gonna put it on i'm gonna put it on time lapse so what you'll see is like a real like, you know sped up um before we get started i will show you the colors um you know this is just opaque white uh, i'm just gonna throw that down for a base i'm gonna do some orange uh this is a mixture i made that i call brim color uh i'm gonna use a little bit of uh basically purple but it's a uh, fluorescent violet bright yellow some black uh, wicked golden yellow and then some Caribbean blue uh, I'm gonna make a um, kind of like a bluegill pattern is what I'm thinking I'm gonna do uh, anyway I'm gonna get everything set up and ready when we come back you will be on time lapse and see me go through it uh, just because like I say this is already gonna be a long video so uh, You'll see the, you know, the finishing touch, how, how it looks when it's done. All right.
hopefully the time lapse wasn't too boring for you all right this is what we came up with um i know it's hard to get some of the colors to show up on camera but um it's got a little bit of that purple up around the eye uh it's got a little bit of the blue mixed in just behind the gill plate a little bit of the orange yellow um i think once it's got the clear coat on it the eyes on it uh i think this is really gonna pop uh i think it'll look really good so all right let's see trying to decide what uh let's see here see if we can figure out what what color eyes to go with uh no i wanna i wanna go with something that looks hmm let me see if i can get you That fire looks pretty good. Let's see if there's another one I like. Uh, I know I got another one that's... Of course, I got a ton of damn eyes. I'm just looking for something that might look a little more real hmm. I got some that look more like let's see real hard is the color I was looking for I know I got some whether or not I can find them I ain't gonna look all damn day so Uh, I was just wanting to compare and see what they would look like next to of course I got solid black I could go with solid black I usually like doing solid black but I think I think I might go with them alright as far as putting the eyes on that's really simple uh that honestly just consists of I might I might put one little drop of uh, super glue down first and then put the eye on but uh anyway I'm gonna go ahead and put the eyes on get the tape off the bill uh, I'm just gonna dip it and let it uh let it cure and then we'll come back when we're ready to actually put the uh, hardware in the center to uh to get it all fitted up and we'll come back when we're ready for that all right um i actually changed my mind on one thing i uh i was gonna do a a dip you know just do a uv uh dip but instead i'm just gonna do the old school uh two-ton epoxy um main reason it's already six o'clock and i won't have enough time to finish it today and do all the hardware on it so i'll just come out here in the morning and and do it so this uh this epoxy i have plenty of time to cu uh, cure plus i wanted to um i wanted to do something i used to do which is mix a little bit of like a real fine flake and uh you know, uh, I got some Alumilite pearl powder. I want to put just a, a small little touch of that on it. Uh, and you don't have to do this as far as weigh it out. I always do. Uh, most of the time, I say I always do. 98% of the time I do. Uh, just because it's 
it's so much easier to get exactly what you're uh, trying to get uh, sometimes if you have too much of uh, one and the other your your cure times will be will be off so I try to get as close as I can so and to me that there is about as close as you can get it wasn't 100% perfect but it's close all right and something like this right here a little powder you don't need much uh, this stuff is it goes a long way all I want is just a very small amount and the same goes with this I don't use uh, I don't use the glitter as often but I do use it once in a while uh, with this right here, I just want to add just a touch of the small black. Um, I actually was looking to see. I thought I had some uh, some of the real tiny, tiny, like 008. But all I could find was the 00 uh, or 015. But that's small enough. And like I say, we're just only going. We're only going to use it for. Uh, just to add a little bit of a little bit of something to break it up now you always want to mix anytime you do the epoxy uh mix it up really well uh even though it's 30 minute epoxy this stuff sets fairly quick so you always want to try to when you get it mixed up um don't mess around go ahead and get it done and and um get everything done in the first you know three to five minutes because it does start to set pretty quick and you can one little trick you can use to uh, to keep it from setting as fast is when it starts to feel like it's thickening up a little bit hit it with the uh, heat gun or a torch a little bit and that uh, it won't give you much time but that will give you a little extra time to hurry up and spread it out um, same goes with if it if the epoxy is on the bait a little bit thick you can hit it with a torch real quick or even the heat gun and it'll help you know uh thin it out all right that should be and i'm gonna try to do all this on camera uh you know it's, sometimes it can be a little tricky all right we're gonna start with I'm just going to grab it by the bottom. We're going to start with the the front. I always like to go over the eyes first. Just to make sure they're really sealed really good around it. Uh, on these bills, sometimes, I honestly, sometimes I coat the entire bill. Especially if I make it out of a thick material like I did this go around. Uh, this one, I'm not going to coat the entire bill. Uh, I'm just going to, you know, really get it around the edges. Um, I just, there's no need to coat the entire thing, uh, especially with a little bit of flake in it. I don't, I just don't want to do it. Uh, and like I say, sometimes I do. And tomorrow when you, you uh, get to see it with the, uh, with the actual clear coat, um all the way done i mean it'll, it'll make it pop a little more same with that um that little bit of pearlescent uh powder it just it really just makes it stand out i mean it ain't something you got to have it just really makes it stand out and to each their own uh you know sometimes with a pattern like this i might actually put just a small little speck of uh blue uh i have done it before where i do it in a in a few you know uh like do a couple thin layers put a little bit with uh let's say a little bit of blue or purple uh just a small amount of tiny blue or purple flake up around the head and then have a separate one mixed up with uh we know just some pearl or even a black anything you can what i'm getting at is you can you don't have to do just one 
uh, mixture. You can make a couple different mixtures, but you can do it and apply it to where you won't have the uh, flake and everything mixing together. But I mean, that's only on you know a few baits I've done that. It looks good. It's just time consuming. Just like today, I mean, time has ran away from us. You know, I was hoping to be done by now, but you know it is all right sometimes it is time consuming making a little video and that's why i broke it down the way i did so uh you'd be able to pretty much see everything um I honestly i'm probably gonna pause you as soon as i get this one right here done i'll probably pause you and uh and finish the uh the tail end off camera and then i'll bring you back tomorrow when uh when we're done and ready to you know install the hardware uh i see that looks looks like everything is covered all right i'm gonna hang this one up and do the other one we'll be back tomorrow all right let's show you what we have this is the next morning and there's our, we hadn't stuck them together yet, but there's our, our bait. You can see that little bit of mixed up black flake and then the little light sparkle that that, uh, that powder gives. And so when the bait's hooked together, you know, you'll be about that far back, give you plenty of you know it'll be sitting back here um if you wanted a bait that was a little bit tighter you could take and notch that out a little bit more and you could get it a lot tighter uh me i don't mind it being you know set back a little bit more that gives it a lot more of your action and it doesn't you know affect the bait at all all right so from this point and sometimes um a lot of times I'll use a five minute epoxy when I do these connections right here. Um, I'm gonna use super glue. Um, it really, it's not gonna come undone. Once that, uh, this super glue, once it connects to that wood on the inside and you got that little bit of spiral, you, you can't pull them out. Uh, I can't tell you how many baits I've made and have, you know, caught fish with using that same way. And I haven't had one pull out yet. So, uh, I mean, I'm sure somebody somewhere probably has one that has pulled out. But uh, I guarantee it didn't just pull out easy because that super glue really bonds to the inside of that wood like crazy. Um, one thing I will say, always make sure that they they will go all the way in um you don't want to get started and then all of a sudden they don't go you know all the way in uh, that's the last thing you want to do is be be trying to fit one up and then all of a sudden you got the glue on it and you can't get it to go you know all the way um that's that's a pain in the butt honestly um all right here we go I'm trying to do it on camera and have the camera angled where I can I honestly should have put this on my small tripod that way it's you know be easier to uh, to maintain put a little bit more Pliers, push it down in there as far as it will go. And one thing I did, I don't know if I can see how deep that one went in. Um, when you twist these up like this, your it'll actually act almost like a um, 
um, it act almost like a pretty much like a screw but it'd be in reverse so you spin it backwards to get it to tighten up more you know um, all right what we're gonna do is we're just gonna do it on one side first and then when we put it together it'll uh, slip right on in and we're um once we get this together i'm gonna let that glue sit for probably 10 minutes it don't even need that long but uh i just want to make sure that it's you know really in there good so we will let it sit for about 10 minutes and then we will be good to go all right both foams in there looks good like i gonna say we're gonna let that one sit for a couple minutes i want to make sure this one is um is glued in then when we come back or well, actually i'll come back after i done glued this one in uh try to keep the uh time of the video fairly reasonable um anyway when we come back i'll already have this one glued on because you saw that side this side is going to be pretty simple You're just going to put glue on it they're going to hub up and i'm going to let it sit for 10 minutes and uh we'll be good to go matter of fact when we come back um uh, i already have um hooks on it and then we'll go uh we'll go water test it and see how it runs and let you see it in the sunlight the sun should be popping out good by now all right all right <clears throat> i actually just swapped over to my my small little um tripod be easier when we take it outside all right you can see there it's got a i have a nice wide wobble you can see the oh get that hook out of it. now i chose to go with a um a little size six hook uh on the last ones i went with a uh, little bit bigger hook but um you know and it done great but i figured i'd go with that one um matter of fact wow the only thing i'm concerned about honestly is the amount of lead that we put in it yeah making it too heavy i mean oh there we go making it too heavy that's the uh only concern i got with it let's see here mm, it's a little over you can see right there it's well if you can well damn it anyway it's a uh, 0.64 so it's you know, it's not too terrible bad uh, it's heavy enough with that amount of weight in it uh, only concern I got is maybe it's sinking like a rock but we'll find out um, and that kind of wood you know it's probably gonna sink like a rock yeah I was you can see I out here washing my truck earlier got my mats drying off like you needed to know that getting it getting it ready for vacation and i had the uh water running in my in my tank all right let's see what we're gonna have here well she's sinking but not real bad trying to see if you can see the rake it's a slow sink so that ain't bad that you can gauge uh that'd be easy for you to gauge how deep you want to run i guess but because it's gonna be a shallow runner man that's got a great action i like making baits like this Man, that thing, it run, it's dialed in perfect, too. It's its running straight. Let's see if I can get you straight in front of it. Yeah, now that's, that don't happen very often to where you have it dialed in perfect. Uh, 
because sometimes it'll be running you know off to one side or the other and you you just need to take a pair of pliers and and slowly tweak you know that front line tie but that is dead on all right let's see if we can get you in the uh sunlight with it oh man you tell me that ain't pretty that that little paint job came out great you would think uh that's actually the first one i've done just like that um i wanted to try it out because it's been as far as really getting into it and painting it's been many years since i've uh really painted a lot of baits i do them here once in a while for myself uh once in a while i have a customer that you know is is worthy of uh oh i won't say worthy um i'll have a customer once in a while that i'll that i'll paint something for it ain't too often just because of the uh the time it takes um well you know i say that let me i threw an okay paint job i mean i needed i needed it tweaked just a little bit um i did one and it's going to look a little brighter because the um the clear coat that's on it and plus this was in an old packaging but i'll show you one in just a second this is one that i've done that's um it's close it's got that gold looking ball a little bit darker on top kill dot um anyway i've done that one the uh couple weeks ago I, I still gotta i'm waiting on the uh it's a local it's for a local guy so that's another reason i didn't mind doing it um anyway i hope you enjoyed that i know we broke the video up a lot you know uh there's a lot of steps that you know i could have took more time on um but anyway you get the you get the idea uh hopefully that um you know hopefully that showed you a couple things and i, I should have probably sped up on some of the other stuff and really slowed down and showed the painting a little better um because that uh that paint scheme you know it actually turned out it turned out really good and those eyes actually turned you know look better with it than i expected them to so uh you know and originally i was gonna make a you know a fin like a really detailed fin but i just shaded where it looks like you know a fin is is right there you can see it a little bit but anyway um i won't say simple and easy um depending on the type of wood you use uh different woods you know work better than others um uh, but anyway being that it's a slow sinker um you know i me personally i will retrieve it as soon as it hits the water uh it depends on where i'm you know if i need it to go a little bit deeper because honestly this bait really is only going to go you know a couple feet deep you know they they run real shallow uh like i say i've i've made a couple of them like this so far um anyway i can't wait to go fishing with it um i hope you know hopefully i'll um uh, get a fish uh on it the next time i go and i'll probably take it to the river but if i do hell i'll post some pictures of it but anyway hope you enjoyed the video uh it's probably gonna be way longer than, than i expected but you know it is what it is um like i say i'm leaving bright and early in the morning well actually uh, not even bright just very early in the morning and be gone for a week so when we come back i'll try to uh get some more content out you know maybe next week um uh, i honestly don't know if i got any i mean i'm still waiting on mold uh from lure work uh lure craft or whatever that open poor frog mold that i have been waiting on for god knows how long uh, about three and a half months or so uh they claim they finally got the parts in to be able to cut it and they'll get them out soon but uh another note i see that fat guys fishing has their uh four cavity uh uh what do they call that frog anyway they got a they got a frog mold that i had looked at for a while that they've only had in a two cavity i see they have it in a four cavity now uh 
I almost bought it a couple days ago, but I'm gonna, I'm gonna wait a little bit, give it a little bit of time, and and see and make sure everybody, you know, likes it and it shoots good before I just up and buy a couple of them. Anyway, as always, thank you for watching. Uh, I appreciate everybody that you know watches the channel, that subscribe, that leaves comments. Um, if you liked it, thumbs up. If it bored you or you didn't like it, you know what to do. Um, you can always hit us up on Facebook under my personal account, Eric Gilly. Uh, you can find us on Tall Tales Custom Tackles on Facebook and on Instagram. Um, anyway, I'll try to answer the questions if I see them. Uh, anyway, thank you, and we will catch you next time.